hello 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 and welcome back to my youtube channel it is your favorite alchemist the alchemy goddess thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning thank you for coming back you are greatly appreciated this is your daily love reading for my singles for monday november 29th 2021 as always it's monday so the energy is the moon i'm not in the best of energy but i'll make it through Sorry, I'm hungry. And I eat something. So sorry y'all. This is a love reading for my singles, right? So normally I tell you if you're in a karmic situation, you may be trying to be single, so this could be for you. Or you could be dealing with a twin flame and trying to get away from it because it just ain't working. You know what I'm saying? Trying to understand what benefits you can get from that connection for yourself as opposed to staying in a connection that's not going anywhere. But you know that you're twin flame. Or you could just be single and ready to mingle. I'm hoping this is just for the single ready to mingle people, to be honest with you. I am tired of the twin flame connection. Okay? I'm tired. All right. So let's see what messages Spirit has for you today in regards to this love energy surrounding you. We have the Knight of Swords reverse. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Three of Cups reverse. Okay. Ten of Cups. Wow. Nine of Wands reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody tired. I felt tired. I'm tired. <laughs> and the Ace of Swords reverse. Bottom of the deck. Let's see. Okay. So somebody's making some plans right now. You're at a crossroads with your life. All right. I feel like I'm trying to figure things out. Balance them out. Because you can't sleep at night. Nightmares, maybe. Something that's consuming your mind. Fears. And I feel like you want a new beginning. In love. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Also, also, it started out with the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which tells me that in reverse, somebody doesn't want to make bad choices anymore. They want to think before they move. King of Swords energy. Somebody's just trying to let go. And it hurts. It's a very painful ending. But there's a new beginning in love. And I feel like it starts with that person. Like somebody's really deciding to pour love into themselves and start this new beginning of self-love. Because they're, they're in this very depressed energy. Not as far as depression. Regret. Fear. It ain't a good vibe. And I feel like somebody's just tired. And there are some very deep, deep emotions associated with this connection. But from the 9 to the 10 of swords, like, fuck it. I know it's over. I know it's coming to an end. And that's depressing you. But it's ending. Could be with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. A lot of swords on the table. I didn't know the apple. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. Somebody is trying to figure out or figuring out they have to leave something in the past. They got to leave something behind. Right? Now, on the table... We have the Three of Cups reversed. So it sounds like to me somebody's tired of being cheated on. Or somebody's tired of cheating. Or tired of being in a third party. Okay? And with the Ten of Cups, like, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who makes you happy, though. So it's very Catch-22, right? But with the Nine of Wands in reverse, you are tired. Like, there's no security. 
There is no security here. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo Cap Taurus. No security. No stability. I don't feel safe here. And then the Ace of Swords is like, you know. It's the Ace of Swords is a new beginning, an epiphany kind of moment, a breakthrough, right? But it's in reverse. It could also mean something needs to still be revealed. So let's see, all right? Let's see what we got here. Spirit, please clarify these energies for us on the table. Ten of Cups. Wow. See, here's what I'm getting. You and this person make each other really, really happy, which is the catch-22 because it's a third-party situation. And you're tired. But that Ten of Cups says it all. Upright, upright. You and this person are literally like each other's like happiness. You're, you are content and you are joyful with this person. Spirit, clarify this Three of Cups in reverse energy. Let's go deeper, okay? Eight of Cups reverse. Yeah, somebody, oh, excuse me, Queen of Pentacles again. Virgo Cap Taurus. Five of Swords, competition. The Fool in reverse. And the Nine of Cups in reverse. Mm. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. So there is a situation dealing with this third party energy here within this third party, right? I don't know. Take what resonates with whoever resonates with. But within this third party love triangle, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Cap, Taurus, um, I feel like someone has a difficult time letting go or they don't know how to let go. Like there's a lot of support here. Either this person could be supporting this person or this person could be getting support from this person. With the Five of Swords, it's like control. Like somebody has control over someone else because of support. And even though this person may be curious to move into a new direction, to start a new journey, they're very hesitant about taking that leap of faith. It's like the Nine of Cups is telling me, like overindulging, being greedy. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm damn near gonna eat this heat. <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't had an appetite much lately, but fruit, fruit, it brings my appetite back. But, um,. I feel like someone is is it's like is not getting enough fulfillment. I'm be honest, like they're not, and they want to take this leap of faith, but they're scared. And this is definitely a third party situation with the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles here, and without a doubt, like without a doubt, this is definitely got more than you got three people involved in this situation. Could be a little competition as well. You could be competing with someone for somebody's attention or someone's words, someone's thoughts. Yeah, someone's attention, like communication. Or you can't really communicate with somebody because they are as attention someplace else. Spirit, clarify this Ten of Cups energy. What's the story behind this Ten of Cups vibes? Mm, Ace of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Three of Fucking Cups. Bruh. Well, I tell you. And I tell you, you cannot have a new beginning because it's a third party situation. This person can't plant seeds with you, no matter how happy you make them. And you make them happy. You make each other happy. But no matter how happy you make them, they, there's this Ace of Pentacles reverse. Like, what's stopping this from being, um, from, from the seed being planted, being, you know, watered, giving a little sunlight so it can grow, is the fact that there are third party involved, okay? Spirit, please clarify this Ten of Cups energy. What's the story behind this Ten of Cups? Nine of Wands reverse. Well, I'll be damned. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. And I feel like you're tired of the same old, same old. Like, if I make you happy... Right? If you clarify this Ten of Cups energy, Four of Pentacles. Somebody is letting go. They tired. Like, I'm not investing in this anymore. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm not fighting for this anymore. Queen of Cups. Virgo. I'm Virgo. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Knight of Swords. Like, I've made so many bad decisions in the past with this connection. I've moved so hastily. But I feel like someone has something to tell someone. Yeah, like, their feelings have changed. Like, I feel like someone is letting go of someone else because 
they feel like they're not being very sensitive, not being very caring towards them. You know, not being in that Queen of Cups energy. Not being kind and gentle. So someone is just like, I have to stop investing in this, no matter how much I love you. Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody ain't waiting no more. Spirit, clarify this Nine of Wands reverse. We got the Three of Wands reverse, the Hierophant reverse. The Ace of Cups reverse, y'all. Yeah. Craziness. The Magician reverse. And the Lover's card. I'll be damned. Bottom of the deck is the Moon reverse. So, someone has some really deep feelings for you, and I feel like they're about to come out. Um, and I feel like they're about to come out because you're going to say, I'm tired of this. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done with this. You know, like, we can't move forward. You know, I'm tired of waiting. Yeah, someone is definitely tired of waiting. Like, they're taking their power back. They feel very powerless, though. Like, your, your person feels very powerless. Like, there's nothing they can do to have this new beginning with you. And I feel like you're just going to take the initiative and start the new beginning for yourself. Because this manifestation of y'all being together is not happening, but you are twin flames. Gemini energy with the lover's card. Y'all, you are twin flames. And this person's just like, you know, or somebody's just like, it's not working. This is not working. Um, hmm, how can I put this? It's not working. They're tired of it. This isn't what they wanted. They feel very powerless. Like, they, like this person feels like their manifestation is not happening. So they feel like they're giving up because of it. Like they're not waiting anymore because they're tired. Like what I wanted with this person is not happening. And I feel like it's about to come out. Like something's about to be revealed. So you clarify this Queen of Pentacles reverse energy. Seven of Cups. Told you some illusions is coming out. Nine of Swords. I'm sorry. Six of Swords reverse. The Devil. Capricorn energy. Eight of Wands reverse. Wow. And the Seven of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the World card. There is a completion to a cycle. And it looks like a good completion, okay? It looks like a successful one. You're moving into a new season. Things are changing in your life. You're realizing there's no security here. I, I'm, I don't feel safe here. This is toxic. This is unhealthy for me. This is a bit obsessive for me. I'm a, I'm a bit fixated on this shit. Like, you know, so instead of communicating that to them, you're putting your guard up. And I feel like, you know, you may communicate it to them either way, but... The, the thing here is it's going to bring some kind of change, but not necessarily the change you have manifested with the magician card, because that is the Aries energy, right? With the magician card, you, that wasn't what you manifested. So I feel like with the Eight of Wands reverse, it's going to be some communication, but it's not it's not going to change the way you expected it to change. Like, you're, like your guard is going to be up. And I feel like, you know, it's just too much chaos. Like, it's just too chaotic. The truth is going to come out, though. No more illusions. You're taking yourself off the table. Like, I'm not an option anymore. You're never going to change. The past is still there. So nothing's ever going to change. It's never going to get better because you're still associated with the past. The toxic ass past. Like, this is unhealthy. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Swords reverse energy. The Death card. Scorpio vibes. Transformation. Queen of Swords, Virgo. I'm sorry, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, keep wanting to say Virgo. Let's be a Virgo watching heavy. The Empress reverse and the Moon card reverse. And the Hermit card, Virgo. There it goes. Bottom of the deck, let's see. So this is definitely a situation that someone has been holding on to from the past. Not wanting to let go. I feel like there's a secret that's about to come, to come through, though. Someone's about to share their feelings about to share some information with you about some illusion they've been painting yeah there's a truth coming out could involve a virgo could involve a scorpio could involve a libra or a taurus could involve a pisces a lot of energy over here yeah. but none of, nonetheless it's an ending it's a it's, it's an ending it's it's an ending in a new beginning a huge transformation taking process and I feel like someone is just realizing their worth. Yeah. Like, if there's nothing happening here, it's no growth here. Mm. Yeah, someone has really deep feelings and they're about to release them. Like, no more isolation. I'm telling you what's the real. I'm telling you the truth. Somebody's coming to tell the truth. 
Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Virgo. Someone could just be coming to tell you the truth about a situation, but that's for some of you, not all of you, okay? Bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups reversed, the High, the high, high Priestess reversed, the Knight of Swords, the Temperance reversed, the Page of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Someone hasn't made a decision. You have to trust your intuition. Spirit wants you to trust your intuition with this one. Know your worth. And I keep hearing, know your worth and trust your intuition. Know your worth and trust your intuition. I feel like you're not really utilizing that energy. With the moon car reverse and the high priestess, somebody's not really tuning into this. They're not tapping into that frequency. And they need to be. But a lot of it has to do with the fact that they're off balance. Because I feel like you've poured so much into this and it hasn't been poured back into you. And Spirit's reminding you with the Page of Wands to know your worth. You are worth more. You're worth so much more. And I feel like you know that. And that's why you're backing off. Like, I'm tired of going through this with you. I am sick and tired. Nestle Crunch. <laughs> that's why I love Nestle Crunch. All right. Let's see what's destined to happen. Let's see, y'all. All right, bottom of the deck is the Omen card. Wow. Wow, this is a big deal. This is a really big deal. All right, my chair just lower and lower, y'all. All right, Spirit, what's destined to happen with this Three of Cups reverse energy? Frustrated, told you, somebody is d definitely frustrated. Yin and Yang, balance. Perseverance. Haunted past. Overly analytical and dark night. So yeah, so I do see here that you're dealing with someone who is very afraid to move forward, but they're frustrated about it because you are their balance, okay? They, they're hoping to pro persevere with you, but there's this past that just keeps haunting them and haunting them and they overanalyze and they overthink the situation tremendously to the point where they're in a dark night energy, okay? Very dark place. Facing their shadows. Spirit. What's destined to happen with this Ten of Cups? Hold on. Fixation. See? I feel like it's become very toxic. Reliable. Because you're more reliable to them than they are to you. Lust. Iced out. Come on now. Come on now. Spirit. Come on now misjudged see i feel like some of you are really feeling like you misjudged this person like you're always there for them but they're never there for you the only thing that that i feel here is lust forgiveness i feel like it's lust like you misjudged this person like this person's this person gets very cold with you because of a third party situation and i feel like now you're becoming you're becoming cold towards them like, they're not emotionally available. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about lust. No matter what you do. Like, and you're very reliable to this person. Forgiveness. Like, I feel like a lot of it has to do with forgiveness. Like, something about forgiving yourself or forgiving this person for what they've done so you can let go. Spirit, what's destined to happen with this Nine of Wands reversed energy? Duality. There goes that balance again. Union. Scarcity. Mm-hmm. You're not getting what you what, what you deserve. Past life memories. And divine feminine. So yeah, I do feel like there will be some kind of union. Or at least that's what you wanted. But like that's what's destined to happen. Duality, union, scarcity, past life, con past life memories, and divine feminine. Authenticity. See, this connection happened so you could... Ooh. This connection happened because you needed to reach your higher self. You needed to reach your divinity. That's why. That's why they breadcrumbed you. That's why they didn't give you what you deserve. That's why. This place, this is a past life situation you're fixing now. You're fixing this now. This person has triggered past life memories in you. For you to be authentic. Authenticity. To be true. To be honest. To be worth. So what's destined to happen with this Queen of Pentacles reverse energy? Defenses. Attachments, sorrow, dead end, 
divine timing bottom of the deck is waiting see telling you you're about to put your defenses up with this person because you just feel like you need to okay because you have a very unhealthy attachment to them and i feel like they make you sad more than they do happy even though they make you happy you make each other really happy lately you've been in a very sorrow energy feeling bad for yourself you know what i'm saying and i feel like it's a dead end like you realize it's not going anywhere you know what i'm saying but something is telling me spirit is like divine timing your time is coming what is that smell I feel like your time is coming, waiting. Your time is coming. It may not be with this person, but it's coming. So what's destined to happen with this Ace of Swords reverse? Distress signal. Shattered. Ego. Self-sabotage. And revelation. Bottom of the deck, mental block. Okay, so... Wow. Yeah, there's definitely somebody has to tell you some truth about something. There's an ending here. You're about to have some kind of revelation that things need to change. Because there's nothing happening here. It's not nothing growing. You're having a revelation. You've been sabotaging yourself. You know? You've been sabotaging yourself with your ego. You know, the ego tells us, you know, um, I'm a horrible person. I'm no good. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you've been sabotaging yourself. Like, you basically shattered your dreams dealing with this person. Like, there's something here with this connection that's very toxic that the ego has gotten in the way. And it has blocked you from really seeing the truth behind this situation and what is supposed to trigger in your own healing. Period. And I feel like now with this, just, with this distress signal card, you're looking for some kind of gateway out of this. Like, I need to come to some kind of realization. Something needs to change because I can't be... Remember, we had that nine of swords, right? I can't be in this depressed energy. Yeah, it was at the bottom of the deck. We had that nine of swords. So let's see what chakra healing messages spirit has for you, for the singles. Forgiveness. Come on, spirit. We got that already. We got that. It's like you need to forgive yourself or forgive this person. And that's a um, that's a throat, a third eye chakra. So let's see, spirit. What other chakra energies do you have for the collective? Impartiality. That makes me feel like a balance. Like that's your crown chakra. And we have facade. See. It's something about putting up a fake front. Like, maybe that's not you. Maybe that's your person. Growth. That's the um, heart chakra. Some of you have definitely grown a lot. Throat chakra with impatience. See, I feel like you've learned patience now. Of course, because of everything it puts you through. And then victim, heart chakra, soulmate at the bottom of the deck, root chakra. So I'm getting this feeling, right, that you are your own soulmate. That's the just of this connection is for you to realize exactly who is important in your life. All right? This was to help you grow, and you did grow, but this connection ain't growing no more. And I feel like you've been very, you know, impatient. That's kind of your vibe, but this situation has taught you patience because you've never really gotten what you wanted from this connection or what you've given to this connection, you know, and kind of being open-minded to other people's views and opinions on spirit, on, on their connection with God, but stop playing the victim role because you're not the victim. You're not the victim here. This was enlightening. This was uplifting. This was something that shifts your energy, changes you for the better. And it might not seem like it at the moment, but it helps you live in your authentic self. It helps you live in your authenticity, which is what I'm getting here, what this connection may have been about. You being more authentic with your true self. Tapping into that truth, into your higher energies, right? All right. So let's see what energy we have here. What's the energies we got? Angel of strength in reverse. So some of you are definitely feeling very weak right now. And like you need some strength to move forward, to move out of this. And that's fine. That is absolutely fine. We have cornucopia in reverse. But see, that's the, that's the thing. There's no fru fruition here. It's not growing. There's nothing that you can say, oh, you know, this good thing happened with this person. We're coming to some kind of understanding. We're growing together. No, there's no fruition happening here. First chakra, Archangel Michael, get grounded, getting grounded, connecting more to the to, 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 to earth. That's something that you should definitely focus on, that root. Deceit in reverse. See, I feel kind of like you may have been deceived or you may have think you've been deceived and that's what you're tired of. Look at that. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, that's the crown. You got the crown and the root heavy, okay? 
some of you need to work on your connection with spirit because you're not you're not paying attention door to value understanding your worth fifth chakra archangel gabriel throat we have the impatience here throat speak your truth don't be afraid to speak up don't be afraid to tell someone you don't like something's being done to you you have not done that you keep your mouth shut about this and you're just patient but you're really impatient like you act like you're patient but you're not that's a lie you know what I'm saying? I feel like you've learned a lot of patience with this and take that with you. But the energy I'm getting here is crown is heavy, throat is heavy, and root is heavy. Something you truly need to work on in the heart because we got two of the heart too. It wasn't so much about putting on the front, but I feel like the facade itself around this situation caused you to misjudge the situation. Absolutely. But I'm just saying like this deceit card, someone is not being deceitful to you. I don't feel like they're deceiving you. I feel like because it's in reverse, you need to realize that you're deceiving yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they they have kept it real with you. They've kept it honest with you. They haven't really lied to you. But about the third party, I feel like they haven't lied to you about that. But there are some secrets. So, all right, you guys. That's it for today's love reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget, this reading has resonated with you. Thumbs up. If it has not, thumbs down. It's all love either way. Either way, either way. Um that's it i hope you guys enjoyed and um if this reading has resonated with you comment let me know how you feel don't forget if you want to purchase a private reading it's www.alchemygoddess.love that's a-l-k-e-m-y-g-o-d-d-e-s-s-i-o-o-v-e -E -E, and purchase your reading all right y'all that's it don't forget to donate to open jack jackson's information is down below and you can go through my website you can go through venmo paypal app apple pay all of that all right y'all enjoy the rest of y'all monday as always Peace.